Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. This is standard 3.2a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2024 release star test, which is a new item type called drag and drop. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we need to move the correct answer into each box. Not all answers will be used. And so take a look at this. Once I use an answer, I can't use it twice. And so there's three boxes. There's five words. So there will be two left over. And if I try to answer just two of them, I am going to get a warning that says you haven't answered the whole thing. So this is a two-point problem. and let me explain how the scoring is going to work real quick. This is two points. So if you get three correct, so that's all three correct, then you're going to get two points. If you get two correct, two out of the three, you're going to get one point. Then if you get zero or even one correct, that is worth zero points. All right, so what we want is we want to obviously get all three correct. Let's take a look at this number, because that's the number we're looking at. I want to build a place value chart here. So 40,280. All right, so 40280. Uh, we can add that comma if we want to, because really that's going to help us separate our periods or our families. All right, so what I have here is I've got my ones period or my ones family. And this is the ones place, right, worth one. This is the tens place, worth 10. And then this is the hundreds place, worth 100. All right, so I've got 280, which is those last three digits. Then I get into the second period, right, or family. It's the thousands period. And I'm going to repeat that 1 and 10. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the family name underneath. 1,000. Or we could just call it the thousands place. And we can say 10,000 place. And so the values here are... 1,000 and 10,000. All right, so once we build that place value chart, this becomes a fairly simple problem. So here's the thing for us to keep in mind. When we are building this expression here, we don't need to account for our zeros. So I've got two zeros here. I've got a, a zero in the thousands place. And I've got a zero in the ones place. And they're not worth anything because the digit they have in there is zero, which means we don't need to account for them. We need to account for the four. We need to account for the two. We need to account for the eight. So let's do that. And once we have this place value chart, the answer becomes pretty obvious. We'll start from left to right. So this four is in the 10,000s place, because it's the fifth place over from the left. So we are going to put 10,000s right there. Let's go ahead and drag that down. You see how that option goes away. Cannot use it twice. Now, this 2 is in the 100s place, because it is three digits over from the left. So there's our hundreds. Let's grab that. All right, so so far I have two, four ten thousands, two hundreds, and then this eight is in the tens place. So I'm going to grab that final number, that final word 10, because it is two digits over from the left, and it's going to be tens. And there we go, 40,280 is four ten thousands, two hundreds, eight tens.